Hello guys and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to trace out this sketch that was provided by one of our PFL Tut members. He asked how he could make this into Photoshop and I don't know if I'll be able to get super duper advanced with this one because it's going to take a while to actually do um, but I am going to show you guys the basics and you can take it from there. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that's on your background layer and you want to create a new layer above that. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to use the pen tool okay and we want to make sure that that's set onto path and not shape. When it's on path, you then can click on a point, go to the next point, etc., and make out your selection, okay? So basically, here's how it's going to happen. Instead of doing all of these shapes, because that's going to be a lot of time and effort, instead, I'm just going to work on um, the S here, because that's, that's all I really need to worry about for this lesson. So but all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and go back to my pen tool. I'm going to click on this point here, and then I'm just going to make my path, making sure to hold down Alt and then click on that last point so that it resets the rotations and all that on it. And about like that. And I'm just simply going to go all the way around this uh, S. And um, once that's done, I'm then just going to duplicate this exact same process for each one of the letters, okay? And actually, I messed up there. I went uh, the wrong way. It's got to come down here, and then it's got to go all the way over to here, and back up here. Give that a little bit of a curve. This one here has got a curve in it. All right. Whoa. Need to reset that point, like so, and then come back down through here and you'll see how this makes sense in a second here because this this part here overlaps and I'll show you how to get rid of that uh, once we're done and I'm just coming around here and I'm not really you know making sure that these lines are completely perfect because it's graffiti art so it doesn't really need to be completely perfect it just needs to be somewhat uh, within the vicinity of what it's supposed to be so uh, if I was really doing this for a client, I'd be taking a whole lot more time than this to really work on it and get it right. But um, since I'm just kind of trying to show you guys exactly what it's all about, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I know there's not a connecting line here, but I'm going to go ahead and continue the line up as if there was. Again, I will show you how to get rid of that in a second. All right, so we click that. Last part there. Coming back up over here. And then we'll finally complete the circuit like so. Okay, and I know that that line is messed up, but we're going to be getting rid of that as well, so don't worry about that. Since we have this layer one here, all we have to do is go to our paintbrush tool, make sure it's on black, and I want to make sure that it's on the pixel width of about, uh, we'll go with four. So then go back to your pen tool, right click, go to stroke path brush do not click stimulate or simulate pressure and then hit OK and you can see here it makes this black outline for us and then I'm gonna right click and hit delete path I'm gonna hide that background you can see there that now um, our black line is created okay so now all we need to do is I'll put this back on you can see here this black line in here does not is not supposed to be there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in so we can see all of the pixels we're gonna use our eraser tool make sure hardness is all the way up at hundred come back in here and all I'm going to do is just erase this entire line here like so all the way over right like that okay and I'll then zoom out and you can see there that, that is done the way it's supposed to be and then also the exact same thing we're going to do here on the star and I know the star itself has not been created yet um, but you're you're not going to want it uh, when it is. So you can see the line is going to go through there and end it right there. And there you can see that that S is now pretty much basically done. Okay. Now when you get all of these other shapes done um, and traced out, you're going to see that uh, you're going to have a complete image. Okay. And then the way you do that is you control click that layer 
because you're going to actually have ending points for all of that. So that's why I'm actually going to undo this one here. Um, and then you can grab your magic wand tool and just click inside of your objects just like this. And you're then going to create a new layer and drag it behind it. Call it color. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and select the color that you want for your painting here. Um, so you just click it in there. And then when you do that, you see it keeps the black outline on there for you, which is exactly what you want. And you can see here I have a little bit of a mess up in here. So anything that's not quite perfect, what you're going to want to do is come back in with your paintbrush tool and simply paint it in the rest of the way, just like this. Okay, because you want those edges to be nice and crisp and sharp. And you can see there, that's a whole lot better. Now, that's your color layer. Then what you want to do is you want to control click that, go back and create another layer and call it highlight. Okay, but all of these layers are created underneath your draw lines layer. All right, and that's your main top layer that's going to keep everything in shape. So then you have your highlight layer. Now your highlight layer, you're going to use things like the white and you're going to um, bring your hardness down, up that size a little bit, and then you need to decide what direction you want the light coming from. In my case, I want it coming from over here, and so I'm then going to simply draw on it kind of like this. You know, I'll re undo that because I need to actually get it a little bit more exact. Kind of like that, and so then it'd be kind of, kind of like this. And again, you're going to want to go back in and delete these edges because it's going to overlap other things, but you don't need to worry about that right now. And, and then I'm just going to kind of put that in there. And then you're going to want to down your opacity a little bit, which just kind of gives it a little bit of a glare and a shine to it. You can also go back to your draw lines, hit Control i to invert, and then on your highlight layer, you can hit Delete. Um, or actually delete off the highlight layer I'm sorry control click your color layer I am totally out of it then hit control I and you can delete it off of everything except for that center area and then you have a little bit more to, you know to work with here and you can actually sculpt this a little bit more like so so that your highlights do are doing what you're wanting here and I kinda like that And there you go. So kind of like that, guys. And you can, of course, always go back into your color layer and go in here and do like a gradient overlay. And what you're going to do then is then you can select, you know, whatever color pattern you want. Uh, I'm going to do darker colors because I already have the highlight done. And you can see there it kind of does a cool effect. And then, of course, you can do things like your bevel and embosses and change that to chisel hard. Usually it looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe lower the opacity a little bit, you know, things like that. Stroke that makes it really stand out and pop inner shadow it you know just work with it and do whatever it is you really want to do with it so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and that's it for this one yeah let's have a good one